Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another Madden Ultimate Team video. Now this is going to be a different video, and I do just want to say it's going to be a long video. Um, most of you probably already see how long the video is going to be, but um, what's going to be happening is this is our my online league with three of my other friends, and I actually made the Super Bowl for the first time ever. Uh, this is the first time I've ever made it, and I think we've <laughs> we've had like five or six seasons. So really exciting. Uh, what happened is this is the standings and we're all in one division. Um, Dylan is, was the Eagles, Dylan Tice. Um, and I beat him during the regular season. That was the only loss that he had. And then Redskins is Gabe, I'm um, the Giants, and then the Cowboys is Tyler. Um, so it was very, it was a very interesting season. Uh, we had injuries off because injuries in our last season were like over like insane. And Tyler's won two total Super Bowls, I believe, and Dylan has won one Super Bowl or two. I forget which one. Uh, and then me and Gabe haven't won any. Well, I beat Dylan in a thriller uh, in the playoffs, so that left me with only computer teams to play. Now here we are in the Super Bowl. Um, it's on Fantasy Draft Team. I had originally uh, Carson Wentz got rid of him after week three, and then I stuck with Dak, and then... Uh, Derrick Henry's been having a great year. David Johnson. We also have Stephon Diggs, who had an insane year. Tyler Luckett and Sterling Shepard. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to show the stats from the regular season. Um, but you see Dak, third in the NFL with 5,460 passing yards, 53 touchdowns. But David Johnson, he did okay. Um, considering him and Henry are getting a lot, he did well. But Stephon Diggs had an insane year for me, uh, 2,651 receiving yards. We didn't do very good on defense, though, this year. Um, so hopefully we can have a really good year and cap it off with the Super Bowl. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be a pretty long uh, game. Hopefully we can get it done within an hour of gameplay. But I figured I'd make a video for it since, you know, this might be the last time I ever make the Super Bowl <laughs> in this league because it is tough competition. It's hard to... Uh, it's hard to make it be the last team out of four, basically, and then you play the computer at the end. So I'm really hoping that we can do some work. Um, I just got done playing the um, NFC Championship game. I won 34 to 10, I believe, against the Falcons. So hopefully we can get us a title, and that'll help boost our XPs for a lot of our players, I believe, and our coach XPs will be. That'll kind of give us a an advantage going into you know free agency and stuff. I might be able to get some boosts on uh, some free agents and then we have the draft coming up which I'm not going to be really participating in very much I, I got rid of quite a few draft picks I have a few um, that I kept just because I like some of the players and I'm wanting to pick one or two up but here we go we're going to kick which is my favorite just starting off with kicking uh, and this is the first this is not familiar to me as Dolphins Dolphins uh, Dolphins Giants Super Bowl is odd that's for sure all right, so Robert Griffin III is their quarterback, so that's that's already some headlines. Um, Antonio Brown, so we're definitely going to have to watch out for him. we got Alan Hearns as well as uh, as as Mark Ingram. Ingram's actually really good on this game, so ooh, as he gets stuffed there for one yard. Nope, I just got to keep playing zone. That's been my strategy this entire year. Um, I, have, I have Trumaine Johnson as my second cornerback and then Marcus Peters is my number one cornerback and, and Trumaine just really really not good at press he gets burnt a lot uh, so that is kind of why I like to run a lot of zone For third and five we're going to expect to pass and I'll probably try to cover on zone with Mark Barron or actually I'll probably just do high tower all right and a pick on the first drive here. Mark Barron is going to get a pick six in the Super Bowl. Wow, great coverage. Bad throw by Robert Griffin, and that's going to put us up by seven to start the game out. Huge play for us. That's an insane way to start the Super Bowl right there. Mark Barron hasn't made a ton of amazing plays for me, but I really have liked using him. He's made some pretty good hits throughout the year, a couple sacks. Um, we haven't had any huge defensive heroes. Our, our, actually, our defense has struggled a lot. I'm usually really, really good against the run, but I've not been able to find you know, my, uh, my zone, basically, just trying to keep the team on its hinges. Um, and, and what I pinned as a rebuilding year is going to turn, hopefully, into us getting a title. 
in New York. Now we usually do it in the AFC, uh, in the AFC West division, because all of us are AFC West fans. Besides Dylan, he did, uh, he usually just does the Broncos because he's a fan of Florida teams, so he just kind of gets stuck with them. But this year we decided to change it up. Uh, I'm tired of playing kind of the same schedules and stuff, so we're gonna we figured why not pick this one. I was wanting to do the NFC West. That was just personally my <laughs> what I wanted, but I'm, I'm liking this. I like the Giants unis, uh, and I like the that's kind of one of the big things when we do fantasy drafts. I like to enjoy the unis that being worn. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can on third and nine another solid play possibly for our defense. We're playing really really well. And we're going to watch screens. Oh, he's going to be left naked. And he's going to get hit there by Hearns. I didn't know who to really go for. So we make the bad read there. That's going to give him a first down over the middle. Um, I had Dion Buchanan. He has not been on the field hardly at all lately. And they're definitely establishing the run game up front. Five rushes for nine yards for Mark Ingram. Definitely kind of struggling, but it's all good. Now, fantasy football and stuff is going on this week. Uh, ooh. Have, has Carlos Hyde already started? Now, Carlos Hyde is going to be inactive today on my fantasy team, so I'm about to have to change that here really quickly. Hopefully I have a running back. Man. I'm tired of Hyde and, oh, that's holding. And I was hoping to hit him really hard. Yeah, so Hyde being inactive again. And I I don't have a running back now. Hmm. Wow. We'll accept that. Give him second and 17. Um, about to have to find a running back. You want to see if he's going to keep his head down? If he's going to get his head right back into the game, I'd send the blitz at him right away and see if he holds up. Wow, he's going to actually do pretty well there. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Actually, let me go back to my team. Has my flex position. So edit lineup is what I'm going to do. I have Devon, or I have Booker, so I'm going to put move Booker for Hyde. And then in my flex, I'm going to put in Travis Benjamin. That's the move we're going to make. Yeah, fantasy football is not, not going amazing for me, but, you know, we're trying. So third and 16 here. Uh, we're going to use high tower again. Hopefully they don't do those slants, but we'll keep an eye on it. And he's not going to have anywhere to go as we do really well covering, and that's going to be fourth and 16. So we're playing pretty good defense. I've been learning a little bit more how to use middle linebackers. Um, I've been really just kind of practicing how to do that, and I feel like I'm I feel like I'm getting better. I mean, who knows? And Tyree Kill, this is one of my favorite guys to use. We're actually going to go out uh, of the ends. Oh, see, I hate when it does those auto moves. I would have loved to just go. If anybody knows how to stop those auto moves, like like may, they the computer just does the special moves for you, please let me know because that's probably the most frustrating thing. Because this is on all pro, and I think I remember it. Do Ooh, David Johnson going to get a nice open hole. Tries to get a truck through, and that's a huge gain. First rush for 31 yards by number 31. Uh, but, yeah, we're playing on uh, all, all, all pro, and then the next one's all Madden. So, yeah, we're like one below the hardest difficulty. Um, okay. Getting stuffed. Two rushes for 30 now. But I just really want that to to stop because I hate I hate that that's that's ruined so many of my returns. Um, we're just gonna run it again, second and eleven here. I feel like that might be just like the safe play. Uh, we have a chance on the outside, and we're gonna get a good gain through the outside, probably about eight yards, nine yards, nine yards is what it's gonna be. So asking, but it's third and two, um, and this should this should bring out Derrick Henry. Yep, Henry's gonna be out, so we'll just pull through. Their front line, hopefully, unless they're blitzing, which they really aren't. And he's going to get that first down fairly, I think. And what are they doing?
Oh, I guess the... I'm not sure if we just challenged that or what was going on. But I, I think it was saying that we were challenging that technically, which I didn't press any buttons to challenge that. I don't think, but we'll take it first down. Keeps the drive going. Probably air it out here a little bit. Uh, we'll see what's going with these corners. I, I usually like to know what my corners are, and this is actually a possibly good situation. Stefan Diggs is going to be naked, and that's going to be a touchdown for us. Puts us up 14 to zero here in the Super Bowl. Um, I think that was Brent Grimes, maybe number 21. Uh, possibly not though. But Stefan Diggs, man, he's been killing it. He's all he holds on to pretty much everything. All right, so we're kind of rolling. And yeah, like I said, this is going to be a long video here. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'll be doing a lot of these franchise videos for the group. If y'all like it, if there's good feedback, I'll definitely continue doing it. Uh, but this was just kind of a special occasion just because, you know, my first time in the Super Bowl. And I figured, you know, you guys might enjoy just some gameplay or seeing what's going on in the franchise aspect. Now, computers on, on franchise, I feel, are, are pretty... Um, are pretty beatable. I've, I've, I've lost a, a, good, a handful of games multiple times, you know. Ooh, and we get trucked and juked. Oh, man. Mark Ingram's going to have a great run there. Gets by two of us. Um, yeah, like I was saying, you know, computer's definitely beatable, but it, it's fun, um, especially with friends, because, you know, if you're all in the same division, that's going to be six games that you play each other. And I remember the year before, oh, I dove way too. Oh, my gosh, he is a trucking machine. Um, before this year, we had an eight-man eight league, and we had four in, in a division and two divisions, and then each were in the AFC and NFC. So, so we played um, each other six times, and then, you know, the Super Bowl was interesting. And plus, we had some, like, games during the season where we played each other. Uh, until like you know the next year the schedule got changed and it'd be a little bit different but still you know it's a lot of fun especially the Super Bowl you're playing two user teams uh, and it's, it's like a true fight of who's the best team out there so we're gonna I'm gonna blitz him here actually gonna try to control the lineman because they do get that run and we're not gonna be able to stop him so I'm getting that first down as we're ending the first quarter shortly so many teams want to throw the ball in this situation right. nowadays. But I, I really hope I didn't start Carlos Hyde in my other league. I might have. Ooh, I actually like that cover in first play. Uh, man, thank thank you for that interception that they threw. That was clutch. Oh, uh, leaves him wide open on the gap. Can't get that ball loose there. And Starks going to have seven yards. It's not bad. And I heard Starks is recovering very well, so he should be back on the field within the next couple weeks, I would imagine, for the Packers. It's going to be the end of the first. I really want to stop him, hold him, hold him to a field goal. Um, actually, I'm probably going to blitz them here, which is not smart, but if we can get the ball... Oh, they're actually going to run it, which is not what I was expecting, and somehow still get that first down. Great job for him. It's going to be a lot harder for us to stop. Then probably won't. Uh, guess we're just going to play zone here. We might try to blitz them. Good job. Nice play there by number 54. I believe that is Mark Barron. Again, he's having himself quite the game. Uh, Griffin looking a little inconsistent, but he's still making some nice throws. We'll probably, I, I don't like usering in the red zone. There's just so much going on. I'm probably screwed up. And we're going to stop them there at the two-yard line, and we'll see. We'll probably commit run unless their formation looks a lot like they aren't going to do that. Um, but, but this does look like a running formation. Oh, he's going to get sacked there. That's going to give us... A nice stop. He'll probably just take the points here, obviously. And not going to get that stop there. But hey, holding them to three points instead of them getting that touchdown and um, 
making it a one-score game. We're going to hold them to that field goal, and hopefully we can come back and get a score. Remember, we do get the ball at halftime. This will be returnable here for Tyreek Hill. Uh, oh, gets held up, but a really nice return. He's going to get to the 33. Oh, there we go. Tyreek is definitely very fast and very solid at kick returner. I have him and Niall back there returning usually. All right, Dick Johnson going to get the run. That trip up is going to help us out. Nice juke move there, and we're going to get a handful of extra yards because of that juke. Five rushes for 56. He's having himself a game. In the last game, he only had, I believe, about 80 yards. Uh, I, no, actually, he ended up with 100 yards because on the last play, I got like a 20-yard gain, I remember. Uh, so here we go. We're going to play it deep. Actually, we're going to throw it short. We're not going to worry about deep. So just one yard there. Two yards is what they're going to give us. Um, now are they playing us kind of close? Nope. We'll try it. Let's not. Why not? Oh. Oh. Prescott, 3 for 3, 42 yards and a touchdown. Third and six here. No, actually, I don't want to do that. Great catch. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Diggs is wide open in the mid. Oh, of course they cover him. Why wouldn't they? Oh, and a great play by the cornerback. I don't know why I was going so deep on that play, but that's going to give us a fourth and six. And we'll just punt it off. We're not going to play any games. Back deep, Antonio Brown. Hopefully that's going to be a really good punt. That looks like it is. Oh, it's going to be in the end zone. Dang it. Ugh. Close. That would have been very nice to have. <laughs> All right, we're going we're gonna to blitz him on the first play here. I feel like we're going to see a nice attempt. And we do, but he's going to get around us, so that's not going to help us at all, really. He's still going to get about five or six yards. So we had a, we exposed the hole. He still found another one uh, right here that we're going to be bringing. Tremaine in on a blitz. He's going to force him out of the pocket. And somehow he's going to hold on to that, even though getting hit right as he caught it. Uh, great play for Alan Hearns. He's been getting hit quite a bit this game, so... Let's see. I'm actually going to do this. Oh, I, I was actually about to read that, but I was going back too far. My bad. Antonio Brown, man. He's kind of been quiet. This game hasn't gone out on any crazy routes, but he's definitely been getting targeted. Um, I'm going to blitz here. Hopefully... Great play there as we're going to get off of our block. Kevin Dodd going to get a nice tackle. So Ingram and David Johnson both having some solid games. We'll see what formation they kind of run here. All right, we'll watch for pass. But that looks like it's actually going to be a screen. And he's going to lose the ball there. Not going to be a fumble, but we do hit stick him. I think that's Sammy Coates, maybe. Mark Barron having a great game. Uh, and we're going to force a punt again for them, which is what we really needed. That's going to give us plenty of time to hopefully get downfield score and get the ball back and hopefully widen the gap. Oh, man, this can be in the end zone, but we're going to take it. I oh, I couldn't get away from him. 16-yard line. Uh, I just like returning it with Tyreek. I, I've, I've had so many great returns with him this year that I just like to run it. With him. Especially since I think he's like <laughs> tied, uh, the wide receiver four, I think, for me. So. We're not going to get away from 59. Uh, who is that? Whitehead. Is that the Titans guy? Oh, that's, that's Woodhead. Or, uh, Wood, Woodyard. I don't know what his name is. We're going to try it again. It's time to the right side. Going to get a nice gap. We're going to break a run. And David Johnson going to get tackled, though, as I was trying to kind of do a juke instead of a stiff arm. But it wanted me to do the stiff arm. Not a bad run, though. Solid run. We're going to see what Stephon Diggs can do. This is actually a really good look, though, for him. So hopefully 
Actually, now it's going to do it there. And David Johnson going to get a first down. I believe maybe a yard short. No, he does get that first down. He drops the ball on the head of his opponent as well. Nice. Play me close, play me close. Do another run. I mean, we're doing well enough on the run. I don't want to make any big mistakes. Oh, I should have kind of continued going to the outside instead of pushing back in. Eight rushes, 79 yards. Solid game so far. This is exactly what I needed for my running backs. Uh, it's going to limit the amount of interceptions I'm throwing or um, amount of... Uh, incompletions I have and we're actually moving the ball down the field but we're gonna get stopped here behind the line um, actually it's not even gonna I don't think we're gonna lose anything from that alright we're gonna try this out gives us plenty of separation there and continuing to hold on to the ball very well that's Stephon Diggs I hope he gets a really good upgrade though for this year. I've been upgrading him slowly and actually we're going to take a shot to the end zone. Uh, 40 seconds left. I feel like it's time. We just got to beat that cornerback. Oh, he's going to be open. He's got that separation and that's going to be a catch there for him and he's going to get into the end zone for I believe his second touchdown. Might be his second touchdown of the game. I forget who all has scored but Stephon Diggs, man, the real deal. For sure, my cats. Oh, okay. <laughs> what you want, kitty? 21 to 0 here, 34 seconds left in the second. Now, in the last game, I had kind of the same situation. I think it was like 14 to 3, uh, and they ended up getting downfield, scoring a touchdown before the half. So, hopefully, we can stop them from really doing any crazy damage to me. I know they had a really good pass, so I really want to stop Antonio Brown. They might run out the clock. You know. I know sometimes the computer does that, which is what they're doing, and that's going to be another nice run. Uh, they call a timeout. They're probably going to try to get into field goal range here. Oh. Dante Hightower. Oh, bad throw. Thank you, though, for not completing that because he was wide open. I would only had two cornerbacks or two two safeties to beat. I'll actually probably play three deep here and have some guys in the middle. I like this play. You're gonna run that up the middle. He's gonna get some separation though from the guys on the line and get a nice gain of about seven. And with 20 seconds left, I'm not sure they might try to just grab that first down real quick. What do you want? And that's going to get pushed for a first down for them. They're going to use their last timeout. Probably going to be some heaves to the end zone. So we'll do man up three deep. And hopefully... Looks like that's not what they're going to do. So us playing three deep might not really be... And we're not going to let them get out of bounds. Five seconds left, and that's going to be half time. What do you want, kid? <laughs> All right, so, how, so far, it's going very well. Um, very pumped. Very pumped. This is this league is actually a very big deal. Like I've I've done a lot of franchise leagues by myself and stuff, but you know, league with friends is a lot. Kind of just riding on the line of you know you don't want to be that guy in last place or, or get fired from your league uh, like like someone else I know that I'm not going to mention but he does have the Redskins in this league so that might narrow it down a bit um, first play out of the half I actually just kind of want to run it I don't want to be too risky we have a nice lead so we're probably going to try to somewhat run down the clock as we're going to lose quite a few yards there uh, because of some pretty good defense yeah I'm, I'm going to try to run down the clock as much as I can uh, this half so that we can you know make the gameplay a little bit shorter I know it's already gonna be a long game because unlike um, unlike online gameplay on draft champions and such it's gonna be we have six minute quarters so I'm gonna play it on that we're gonna do a Tyler route make it simple we'll probably take a shot downfield a bit or 
if I look like I can get them on the run. Oh, oops. Alright, looks like we're doing a screen. Just, uh, which might not actually be a bad play call. Barely going to get that play off. We're going to get some nice blocks. And Henry's going to actually get a nice play out of that. So about 14 yards, I believe, on that play. And he's been a very good player. I'm really happy I picked him up as late as I did in our fantasy draft. He's been definitely one of our one of my better goal line players for sure. Um, he's he's who I, who I usually play when you know David Johnson's tired. And David Johnson gonna squeeze a first down out of that, I believe. Solid play. 11 attempts, 87 yards, about 7.9 average. Um, I'm just gonna run it up the middle here on first. Now I need to still work on my packages of when I want. Uh, Derrick Henry in and he's gonna have wide open gap there and a flag I believe probably gonna be on face mask might not be though holding block in the back offense so that's gonna all be for none oh, we could try to get those yardage back here with this play first and ten still David Johnson on another play Still gonna maybe get a yard or two. It's like one yard. Right, second and nine. Uh, we'll try to see what we can do here with Stephon Diggs if they play me close, which they are playing me somewhat close. Let's see what happens. And he's gonna get another catch for a touchdown. That boy creates so much separation. What's up, Zipper? Whew. Man. That's insane. Stephon Diggs, man, he, he creates separation. And I've been working on his press still. Uh, and I think I have it most of the way upgraded because of the points that I got at the end of the season for him. You know, breaking those records and such. I used a lot of it into press. I didn't adjust his speed any, which I think is already still pretty good. So when you put that combination together and you put him on that left side of the field, he's going to be dirty. Now they're going to take this out. Take a hard hit there for, I believe that's Tyler Gabriel. And we are doing very well. We're kind of cruising at this point. Um, this looks like a definite run. So actually going to run that up the middle. So Ingram has been the big, uh, the only thing that's been worth talking about for Miami this game. We had three points, which we had stopped them on a kind of a goal line stand, I guess, to make them force that field goal now here and go with another run here and he's gonna get stopped behind the line that'll be a third and eight I believe third and eight here we go when you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and screen play. Oh, and he's going to get by. Oh, and there's going to be a flag, which might be for them, but he is going down the sideline. We're going to tackle him before the end zone because we have a really fast Marcus Peters, I believe that was. Block in the back for the defense, or for the offense, is going to bring that all the way back. Uh,. Thank you for that because, whew, that would have been a long game. Let's see what Mark Barron can do. Is he gonna... And he's going to get sacked. Nowhere to throw to. We did some really good coverage there. Kevin Dodd with a sack, three tackles. He's been a solid addition. He's a linebacker, but, uh, I mean, if you are doing a fantasy draft or something, if you move him to um, the line... He becomes a like 79 overall instead of a 72 or 73 linebacker. So, uh, and he's very young, like 22. So, I would definitely recommend starting him over, you know, picking like an 80 overall old guy if you're waiting so long. So we're actually going to get a good return, hopefully, out of Hill here. It all depends on this guy on the right. See, see, they do that move on me. I was going to go to the outside and come back in, but I'm not going to get a good yard. So. Here we go. Continue running down this clock. And could have went outside. I thought he was going to come up out on me. All good. All good. It's not playing me close. I like to, you know, if they're playing me close, I'll definitely utilize that press situation. We'll probably see. Oh, it's going to be the end of the third there. 
one more quarter and we will be celebrating us being Super Bowl champions for the first time in this online league. I'm very happy about it. It's a lot of hard work, especially in the playoffs when you know you have to play like, you know, Dylan or Gabe, uh, especially since Gabe whipped on me both games this year. So I am very surprised that I was able to get this far with that. And hopefully third and seven we can get a conversion don't think we are though we're just gonna run down the clock oh flag i forgot i had i forgot i had clock on <laughs> so we're gonna run down the clock there believe game they'll be what third and 22 which is a lot <laughs> All right, let's try it. Throw that deep there. And that's going to be a pick there. First pick of the game for Dak Prescott as we're trying to play it on. That's Vontae Davis right there. Uh, shouldn't have thrown it to the wide receiver one, especially when, you know, I'm not playing digs. I have uh, Tyler Lockett over there. This is one of, one of my favorite slot guys, which right now he's playing on the outside. But... Let's see if we can't make a stop. Make up for that. Oh, he's coming in. And he's not going to get rid of that. Sheldon Rankins gets a nice sack for me. Second and 21. That's going to be a solid helping hand and hopefully containing these guys for this drive. We'll play three deep. Oh, no. Actually, we're going to play two deep. Looks like. There we go. And offsides for their offense as well. Huh. Or a false start, yeah. So they're backed up on their four. I'm gonna actually blitz them here since the computer likes to run the ball in these situations. I'll actually gain about three yards there on that. <laughs> Total defense, we're ranked last, uh, which is very odd. My defense is usually the, the best part of my team. But this year, like I said, we haven't been clicking on our secondary. It's been horrible. And also, you know, the user games, I got lit up by um, by all the users this year, Tyler, Dylan, and Gabe. Uh, so this flag might be on us, might be on them. It's going to be holding. All right. Now we'll push them back to the to the three-yard line, and we're going to try to, you know, get a safety here. Uh, but if not, it's all good. They're probably going to run it. Flag again. Wow. They cannot catch a break. Wow. It's going to put them at the two yard line, third and 27. Hmm. Now, if they throw it outside, you know, we got a couple guys playing deep. And Griffin's going to get sacked. We're going to get the safety with Calvin Pryor. Solid play. Uh, Miami with all of those issues with penalties on that drive. It's going to come back to bite them as they're going to get the safety. Um, I might be able to get the play. There we go. And Hill will get a nice return of about 10 on this. So that's going to set us up in a very good spot. Um, so we're going to just try to kind of run out the clock here. Probably won't go with any more plays unless I see them playing press coverage on digs. And, you know, we might take another shot deep for them, you know. You know how we, you know how we do it. Oh, solid play for David Johnson. Going to get free. Bust a two-yard gain. And he's about to have himself another 100-yard game. I might throw somebody in here after this play. I'm just probably going to try to get Johnson 100 yards. Might throw Nile Davis in. Why not? Uh, he's actually not too bad on this game, so... You know, I'm gonna put him out now. I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about David Johnson getting a 100-yard game. We're gonna go to depth chart, halfback, and we're actually gonna put in. That's what I wanna do. So we switch it up a little bit, get some more speed onto our into our starters Diggs is going to get a nice catch gives us the first down 2 minutes 45 left on the game uh, we have Nile Davis in as our starting running back and we adjusted and put Tyreek Hill and 
uh, Chris Conley is our two and threes. Gives us some nice speed. Now Davis' first carry here. Not going to be able to cut inside and gain zero yards. Two-minute warning. All right, here we go. Do another stretch to the outside one up. Whew. Give me three yards. I'll probably just shoot this one up the middle. Actually, I might do a screen. Let's do that. Come on, hurry up. We got Derrick Henry in. And a solid first down there. If we have a minute 10 left in the game, just winding down. Dak Prescott, 11 for 13, 191 yards, did what he needed to do. And uh, he did have that interception that he threw, but, you know, no, no biggie. That was just a kind of a test, you know. Tyler Lockett can't catch up again. Nile doing another one of his uh, moves. I wish it wouldn't have done that because I just wanted to go the middle. Uh, and last play of the game, and then we are champions. 30-3 to three will be your final. And we are going to take a trophy home. Four rushes, eight yards for Davis at the end of the game. Still let me down even in Madden, but it's all good. As we are the champions. I didn't go through with the whole... Um, celebration thing I don't know why honestly I just I'm used to ending these games quickly but very excited probably will be the last one if I am in you know another Super Bowl or if, if I know that there's gonna be another really good game coming up I will definitely post it uh, if y'all want to see more from this franchise league that we do I'm more than I would be more than happy to do that for y'all uh, but until next time appreciate y'all watching the video take care peace